The story is hundreds of years old. There were four women who were prostitute and also fed up of their life. One day, the four women were looking for a monk to gain enlightenment from whom they would learn the truth through initiation. But each monk to whom they four women went for initiation would refuse them. Finally, they found a monk who agreed to initiate them only if they could give a correct answer to one of his questions. One day, all four came to the monk and said humbly, Gurudev showed us the way to attain enlightenment through initiation. Monk said, If you want to take initiation from me, each of you must answer my question. Any one of you stay here and the other three leave. One of the four women stayed there and the rest left. The monk asked her, When you get into a boat, you see 30 men in the boat and there are no women. You are being taken to an island in the sea with those 30 men. You know very well what will happen to you when you are taken to the island. What would you do in this situation? The woman replied without a moment delay. Gurudev, I will jump into the sea to save my honor. Many of you think this woman's answer is correct. But monk said, you can leave now. Your answer is wrong. How can you punish yourself for a situation that did not happen? The woman was very disappointed and left. This time, the second woman came and bowed down and stood in front. Monk asked the same question to the woman. When you get into a boat, there are 30 men in the boat and no other women. You are being taken to an island in the sea with those 30 men. You know very well what will happen to you on that island. What will you do in this situation? The woman thought for a long time after hearing the question and then said, I will surrender myself to the strongest man among the 30 men in that boat. That man will save me from the other 29 men. Many of you think this woman's answer is correct and prudent. But monk heard the woman's answer and said, You may leave now. Your answer is also wrong because no matter how strong a man is, he must be weaker than group of 29 men. The woman was upset when she heard monk's word and left. Then the third woman came and the monk asked the same question. This time the woman replied, I get on the boat, there are 30 men and I am the only woman. The boat is going to a deserted island. What's the problem? I am a prostitute by profession, so I have no problem. 30 men will fulfill their needs. I will fulfill my needs. Monk heard the answer and said, You can leave now. Mother, your answer is wrong. This time, the last woman came in front of Monk. Monk asked her the same question. When you get into a boat, there are only 30 men and no other women. You are being taken to an island in the sea with those 30 men. You know very well what is going to happen with you on that island. What will you do in this situation? Hearing the question, the woman bowed to monk with folded hands and said, Gurudev, I do not know what will I do in that situation. Monk smiled softly and said, Your answer is correct. Your thinking is correct. Without knowing the situation, one who does not assume the imaginary answer beforehand can know the absolute truth of life and can walk on the path of self-realization. The monk initiated the fourth woman and the woman began to know the absolute truth of life.